Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Today I am out here. If you can look down this road right here, uh, pretty much loosening up this dirt. Uh, like I told you guys previously, that our soil, when the sun hits it, it crusts over, but underneath, it is very nice and moist. So what I'm doing here right now, I'm loosening up this soil. Uh, we are actually getting ready to plant carrots and beets. So half of this row here is going to be carrots and the, ha the other half of this row is going to be beets. And that's what I'm here doing now. I'm working the soil, getting it nice and loose. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you guys on over here uh, to the mix that I'm doing to put on top of this bed here. All right, so I'm going to stick a pin right here and uh, take you all over here so we can get to mixing this dirt. Come along. So what I just dumped right here on this tarp here is we have ourselves some black cow manure. Um, you know, last year, these black cow manure, they had so many sticks in them. And that was one of the things that I did not like last year, just had so many sticks. But I went to this nursery and man, I'm telling you, this black cow that they have is it is good all right so that's what we have inside of there and another mix that we have in here that we've been using for quite some while now is that uh mater mate mater maker and what this uh the stuff that they use to make this uh compost here is they use uh you know tree materials uh, cow manure and also fish and I am telling you this stuff here works wonders guys and what I'm gonna do as well is peat moss I'm gonna be putting some peat moss in here okay what this peat moss is gonna do for us is gonna help us with drainage And also, what we're going to be adding inside of this mix here as well is bone meal. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and get two nice handful of that. Sprinkle that on in. Because really and truly, this bone meal here is, you know, it got that little bit of nitrogen and potassium inside of here. So, and we don't really want to put too much because we have that chicken manure that's out there in that bed already that we work into, into that soil. And also, this here, you know it, blood meal. Uh, I'm not going to put that much inside of here either because the blood meal has a lot of nitrogen in it and like I said we already have quite a bit of nitrogen out there alright so I'm going to do two handful uh, maybe three that's it right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I would use a shovel, but I don't wanna poke my tarp. But of course, you know, hands on. Get your hands in there. Like I tell my sons all the time, get in the dirt. A little dirt don't hurt. But uh, that's it there. We're gonna go ahead and mix that on in. Okay, so now that we have our mix here, what I'm gonna do now is fill up my buckets and I'm gonna go ahead and take it and dump it over there on those beds and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to make me some rolls and plant our carrots. Uh, you know carrots is good for the eyes and it's just good overall and so come on along.
Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spread that on top of this bed here like that. And once I get everything spread it out, I'm gonna go ahead and come back with my aerator and I'm just gonna go ahead and spread it all over inside of this bed here. And I wanna make it at least about an inch thick of a layer because I want these uh, carrot seeds to be able to have some real nice soil to start off with. And once they get germinated and get going, this dirt is not gonna stop them from doing what they need to do, which is grow those nice long roots. All right, so I'm gonna load up a couple more buckets and I'll see you shortly. Okay, so that there is last bucket. And what we're gonna do now, as a matter of fact, I wanna go ahead and switch tools. I wanna go ahead and get my aerator. It's gonna make this job a whole lot quicker. Like I say, don't work hard, work smart. Okay, so now it's time to spread and we're just gonna go ahead and lightly spread. And what I'll probably do if this here doesn't look as good as I want it to be, I will come back through again with some more of the mix just to make sure everything is good and up to par the way how we want it. Right? So far it is looking good and what we're going to go ahead and do this one. I'm going to go ahead and get my hoe and just go ahead and pat on this dirt here just a little bit. Just a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and make the trenches. Come a little closer, babe, so they can hear me. I'm gonna go ahead and make the trenches for the carrots. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back. I heard you. I'm gonna come back with another layer of this mix here. And we're gonna cover them on in, water it, and we're gonna lay some cardboard on top to kind of help it to germinate, you know, just the way how we want it. All right. And I have everything spread out here. Now what I am doing right now is making me some little itty bitty bitty small rolls. All right, so uh, these rolls gonna be at least about three inches to four inches apart. And all I'm doing, I'm just taking this stick here and this stick make it easy for me because I don't have to go down there and bend, you know. So just using this stick here and I'm just pretty much eh, drawing a line all the way down. Seeing how nice and straight that line is, you know I must have been a real good artist, huh? When it comes to coloring my books, staying in line. All right, so let's sit right there making this last row. Just coming on down, coming on down. That's it right there. And so what I'm gonna be doing, I heard you rooster, I heard you. So what I'm gonna be doing, I believe my wife wanna plant at least about three or so varieties of carrots. And so that's what we're gonna be doing right now. But uh, you know what, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tired today. So my beets over there, I'm gonna save those for Sunday. All right. I wanna hand, hand me those carrots, baby. All right. So.
So here we are. And so these are the carrots here that we're going to be putting in the ground. Right here. All right. And so that's it right there. So what we're going to do right now is uh, actually on these packages here. Uh, this is definitely not nothing coming from me. It's on the back of the package. It gives you the directions and directions of how to go about planting these carrots here. Um, so on the back of the package, it's telling you to plant these carrots at least about half an inch deep into the soil. And so that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. All right. So and what we're going to be doing as well, package also tells you that you need to go ahead and plant them at least about an inch apart and then you go through and thin them out to at least about three inches. So eh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and plant them to specs at the get-go. Eh, I don't just don't wanna come back and have to pull up carrots and, and replant. So whatever seeds germinate, we're gonna take it and run with it. Uh, whatever don't hey, we just have to come back through and plant some more seeds later on All right, so That's it there and those seeds are so tiny. I don't know if you can see them. My hands is is so clean I don't know if you want to call it that All right, so that's it there and so what we're gonna do right now is and I mean my goodness these seeds are so tiny uh, we're just going to go ahead and drop one there. Man, I tell you, this here is going to be an all-day thing. But uh, I'm not going to make it an all-day thing. I'm going to go ahead, let my wife put that camera on down. And I'm going to let her come on down here. Put a little labor in too. You know, so. But we're going to go ahead and get them in the ground. All right. And so we'll bring y'all back shortly when we get ready to cover up these carrots and water them down. And some of these carrots, guys, there are like two of them is dropping in a hole. So, hey, I'm not going to pull them back out. But uh, nonetheless, let me go ahead and lay these carrots down. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm going to tell you what. After dropping those carrots in one at a time, Man, me and my wife come to the realization like, you know what? Those seeds are just too small to be doing that. So we just went ahead and did it the way how we usually do it. <laughs> Sprinkle it in that row and we're gonna get it out the way. So now what we're gonna be doing with the mix that we have here, we're just go, gonna go ahead and sprinkle a light little layer on top of these uh, carrot beds here. All right, not too heavy, but just real light okay okay guys and so that is it right there for planting our carrots and also this method here is going to be the same method that we use to plant our beets as well and so to go ahead and tap this off here I'm gonna go ahead and water these seeds in and once I water these seeds in, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna either check inside if I have some newspaper or some cardboard. I know I have cardboard, but maybe no newspaper. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is come out and spread that on top, wet it down, and leave it so it can go ahead and germinate, all right? And as the process goes on and these carrots come up out the ground, we're gonna bring you guys back on in and show you the progress so I'm gonna go ahead and say thanks to each and every one of you out there for stopping by the humble servant homestead and I'm telling you if you are feeling down and out put a smile on your face because like I said our Creator the Most High woke us up this morning starting us on our way so that is one thing to give thanks for because we have life okay and i want to thank you all for stopping by the humble servant homestead peace and blessings to each and every one of you out there have a blessed day